<laughs> right. I gotta make. I gotta make a video, dude. No. Yeah. You wanna help? No. I don't wanna help. Can you say today's video is a vornado no. box opening? No. No. Okay. So we have a vornado whole room heater. This is the model MVH. It's got three heat settings, cool touch casing, and a fan with tip over protection that we're going to unbox because our barn gets pretty chilly unless you're in the secret room and uh, when I say secret room I'm talking about behind that wall there it's actually got propane run and there's a propane heater in there but the rest of the barn if I'm working on a tractor or the cars or whatever there's no heat in here so it'd be nice to have some heat but this is an electric heater we're going to go ahead and open this thing up Ryder, what you got? Uh, logging chains? Yeah. Yeah, okay, logging chains. All right, so inside the box obviously comes a manual. It was right up on top. Go ahead and pull this out. And like everything, it's always wrapped in plastic. Let's see if I can get this out of here. And it's pretty small. It's a lot smaller than I was expecting, but that's great because I don't have that much more room for any big items in here once the truck and everything's put in this barn I tried getting it organized which you may have seen in a different video or on the blog but um, this is kinda well there's another camera set up over there so it's always good to have uh, thawed out hands when you're trying to do videos my videos are usually pretty shaky when I'm out here in the cold because my hands are freezing I can't feel the buttons so anyway, I'm trying to get do this with one hand. Other cameras on the tripod at the moment. So here we go. We have our package opened. It's the Vornado Space Heater. Pretty simple controls. Looks like there's seven different settings up on top for probably the fan. There's the three button heat setting and an on off button. Uh, I expect this thing to work. If it doesn't then I'll just return it, purchase it on Amazon, I think it was like 50 bucks, 60 bucks. Um, it was the cheapest one I could find that did the largest area with a fan. Some of them just sit there and heat up the air around it, but the fan actually blows the hot air that it's produced in the direction you have it pointed. And actually it's probably 50 degrees out right now, so we'll fire it up and see how it goes. Okay, so we got the Vornado space heater going. It's pretty small, as you can see compared to the air compressor. Oh, wow. Ooh, yeah, a cricket. Get it. I got the, got, Get the, it away. got the kiddo with me. And we're sitting in front of the space heater. So it's on full blast at fan speed of seven. And it's on the hottest setting. And if I'm not mistaken, that uses about 1500 watts. Uh, we're just running off an extension cord. It may give better heat and power if it was directly plugged into an outlet. But even with the wind outside, you can still feel the air blowing, which is nice. This will heat up a nice space in no time, but it is super quiet. Uh, the noise you're hearing is probably the wind. We have a front moving through, and the door is open for the light. Otherwise, I'd have no light to film this. But super quiet like can't even hear it quiet pretty nice unit overall I'd probably recommend it um, for you know a 10 by 10 space maybe a little bit larger um, it, like I said it's ultra quiet so you could put it in a family room or somewhere where you're watching TV and not be distracted um, you know, with space heaters, you definitely have to be careful of fire, you know, regardless. Um, so just, just use with caution. 
Now, I am not going to keep it by my generator or air compressor. This is just for demonstration purposes. I can feel hot. Right? You can, I can feel hot. You can feel the heat? Yeah. Yeah? Good. It, it, All right. It, so it, anyway, it, on to the next. Hand. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't touch. It's my hand. Yep. It stays cool here. Because the uh, that's the other thing. This is kind of safety. It's cool to the touch here with the exception of the heat that's being blown out. Because the coils are actually on the back side and not the front side. So and they're the side not exposed coils. So uh, that's a good thing if you've got kids or pets. But anyways, uh, like I said, on to the next. Hope you enjoyed it.